another uh, a preacher here, another pastor. Yes. Uh, we have Pastor Ellis Powell of the Daily Bread Church. Welcome to Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Welcome. Amen. That's Thank our you. neighbor. That's right, our neighbor. That's We're our neighbor. right across the street. From the Caddy corner across the street. Praise the Lord. I like the name of your church because it th makes me think about fresh bread. You know, yes. there's nothing worse than old stale, moldy bread, but the daily bread. Daily that means bread. there's something fresh yes. going on all the Amen. time. Amen. In the, old, <laughs> in the Old Testament, that uh, God had it to where, again, that in the temple, that the priests had to bake the bread daily. Mm -hmm. And it says that, again, they could not come before the throne of God without bringing some show bread. Mm -hmm. And a good, when you call on God, he will sure enough show up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's right. He is the true bread of God. Show bread. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. good. Glory to God. Well, God's doing great things in the earth. We've had so many great testimonies up to now. And God's doing a good work there, right there, Daily Bread Church. I that know God's moving. Yes. And, uh, you know, you know, being a pastor, you know, you get to invest in people, get to teach people. And I know you have a heart to see people overcome. You have a, a heart to see people just rise up and possess their promises. Yes. yes. Uh, my main thing and main focus at the ministry is we continue to focus on the three F's, and that is faith, family, and finances. If that's you're yeah. struggling anywhere in life, it's going to always be those three. That's good. And that stops you from having fun mm -hmm. and enjoying yeah. the abundant life yes. that Jesus Christ that's came good. and died for. So we word. believe, and again, is continue to equipping, educate, and empowering the people so mm -hmm. they can enjoy the life that Christ came and died for. Yes. You know, Gladys uh, quoted that scripture uh, uh, in John 16, 24. You know, heretofore you've asked me nothing. Mm -hmm. Ask, and you shall receive yes. that your joy may be full. I mean, God wants us to f be full of joy. He wants Happy. us to enjoy the yeah. things that we have now. I mm -hmm. mean, not just wait till we get to heaven one day, That's right. but we can have victory now. We can have enjoyment. Yes. We can have Amen. joy and, and we, can, we can have a good time now. Well, that's exactly <laughs> what he told the disciples when Peter says, Lord, we have left all for you. He said, boy, you had not left anything. <laughs> he said, you're going to have not only a hundredfold again when he gets to heaven, but you're going to have it right yes. here, yeah. right now. Oh, God yeah. is a now God. Yeah. God is a now yeah. God. Yes, he glory is. to God. We we preach in the same language he here. Is. I Amen. love you. Amen. I tell you, well, you know, God is raising up people. Yes. I mean, you know, why would anybody want to be a Christian if all the 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 way it looks is that they're just all hang hung down, you know, yes. defeated, big old frown on the face, always kind of, you know, defeated and everything? Why would anybody want to be part of that when they? You know, this is a thing I think a lot of times in the past the church has just been so defeated and so down mm -hmm. because we had not been focusing on the right things mm -hmm. from the Word of God. Well, I, I believe, uh, as you said earlier, Pastor, that again the church hadn't been looked at upon that way, nor have they acted in such a way. I think for so long that the people have been coming to church again, looking again for a handout when they need to be looking for a handout. Oh, yeah. yeah again, he says, let us not forsake the assembly of ourselves. Right. And the word assembly, yeah. again, it, it comes to putting together. Yeah. To, to be able to lift up, to be able to encourage, to be able to exhort. Yeah. And again, we've got to understand and be mindful again of the man who was again uh, lame that was standing, that, laying down at the gates when Peter and John came by. Yeah. And again, he was there begging. Yeah. And again, he asked again for some money. And they said, a silver and gold have I none. But such that I do have, in the name of Jesus, get on your feet yeah. and walk. <laughs> and that's what's very important that again, that we, he was going to be there for a long time. Had they yeah. given him some money, on Monday, he'd have still been there on Tuesday. Oh, sure. He'd have still been there on Wednesday. That's yes. right. So again, we, we need to make sure that we speak the word of That's God right. in people's lives. Yes, mm -hmm. right. And get them to be empowered and equipped yeah. to stand and yes. take a stand for their yeah. lives. Oh, Come hallelujah. Yeah. Come up higher. Amen. Go to the next level. That's the right. next right. level. That's Going right. to the next level. No, and it's a pro progression, isn't it? That it is. So you, we're, uh, you know, like when you're, when you're ministering uh, to people that's just starting out, perhaps they've not been acquainted. You know, maybe they've been in, in a dead...
Thank you.